Moving on to some sports news now. England's quest for a first ever series win in New Zealand since 2008 faces a stern test on the final day at Wellington's Basin Reserve. Now the hosts are themselves in with a shot of entering the record books after a fantastic rear guard on day four. England had promptly enforced the follow-on on Sunday after the hosts were bowled out for 209. But then the Kiwi top order resisted and took the score to 202 for three at Stumps on Sunday. Former captain Kane Williamson started day four on 23 and he needed just four balls to become New Zealand's highest scorer in test cricket and he got past the mark of 7,684 runs in 35 fewer innings than the previous record holder Ross Taylor. Now Henry Nichols didn't last too long after the 50 run stand of the partnership came up but uh, New Zealand's fight wasn't fizzing out anytime soon. Williamson shared a 75 run stand with Daryl Mitchell who himself made 54. The Kiwis were no longer in the red by then and 158 stand then followed between Williamson and Tom Blundell which then stretched uh, the lead past 200 and raised the prospect of an unlikely win. Williamson reached his 26th test ton off 226 balls and was finally dismissed for 132. Jack Leach then ran through the low order and finished with a five wicket haul as the Kiwis were bowled out for 483 with Blundell making 90. England needed 258 to make it seven on the bounce and race to 48 off 11 overs with Zach Crawley the only man to fall for 24. England need 210 on the final day. The hosts need nine wickets. Yeah, um, you know, it's not something that uh, I've sort of thought um, a whole lot about, but, um, you know, it is uh, an honour, um, you know, look at that list and... Uh, admired all, all of those players you know over the years whether um, that's watching from afar growing up or, or playing alongside a number of them as well so um, yeah it, like I say it's not um, a, a focus point but um, yeah special to to be amongst that company. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.